Hello dear student, once again I'm Anadali here to share my experience about writing. Today we are at page 90, it's unit 4 of level 3 and the topic of our writing today is writing an opinion essay as we have uh, read in the unit 3 personal response. So now you have to write an opinion essay. Be careful about, now we are talking about essay, it's not the paragraph you have learned about spare in the uh, essay we have different paragraph mean four uh, or five paragraphs and now the first paragraph <coughs> is uh, considered to be introductory paragraph in an opinion essay a opinion essay in the introductory paragraph you describe a situation you describe a uh, writer describe a situation include your opinion then we have the thesis statement thesis statement means the main idea or the statement or your opinion okay you uh, mean the writer writes his opinion or uh, clearly and express how you feel about the topic yeah so this is the thesis statement is the opinion of the writer the second part of uh, essay is body paragraph as you know there are two or three body paragraphs they describe the uh, situation also the uh, body paragraphs support the thesis statement and they give example detail and explanation of the uh, thesis statement and describe the topic and finally we have the concluding paragraph concluding paragraph is uh, last paragraph restate your opinion summarize your reason restate and summarize means you write uh, the same thing for example the you write your thesis statement now you restate change the words will be the different but the meaning will remain same restate your opinion you use different word in prediction okay let's move for example let's see here is a paragraph if you see here it is the introductory paragraph the first paragraph is introductory paragraph the second paragraph body paragraph one yes body paragraph two and body paragraph three yeah and then finally the concluding paragraph this is an essay so let's move to this is the structure of essay let's move to um, activity what is the thesis statement underline the thesis statement in the introductory paragraph you should remember that the thesis statement the writer's opinion he or she gives in the introductory paragraph the first paragraph for example this one is the introductory paragraph the writer will uh, when writer give opinion he use the word like i think i believe i guess yeah so something like this there is uh, I mean uh, the, that will be the opinion for example if I say most people love watching some kind of television no because it is the another opinion this is not the thesis statement I guess you could say that I am different kind uh, different from most people because I love commercial I guess if you see such word it means the thesis statement are writers opinion okay let's move to the next what are the three reasons you see here the writer is gonna give three reason an example that the writer used sport here are her opinion reason one I think a lot of commercials are funny you have to find this example of this reason reason two you have to read the paragraph and find uh, which is the reason two an example reason three and example okay for example reason one you know the to describe the reason the writer used the transition word or time word for example first of all sometime give first second finally like something okay first of all the transition word that transit uh, additionally finally so these are so here the writer use this word and then give reason and then give the explanation you have to find out the reason second reason two example for the reason two and reason three and its example and you have to show your answer to your teacher during the online session now let's move to activity b read these introductory paragraphs to different opinion essay which is the best thesis statement for each essay choose from the statement below look here we have one yes paragraph uh, introductory paragraph and uh, yes two three and four we have four introductory paragraph at the end of each paragraph we have three uh, statements a b and c you have to 
read uh, this introductory paragraph and find out the best thesis statement the best thesis statement okay for example uh, let's do the first one advertising has been around for many years and most people just accept it as part of our lives but i was watching tv with my young son other night when he pointed out me the name of particular computer yes and that notice that he noticed on the show we are we were watching that is when i realized that teasing has invaded our lives too much invaded our lives too much my son recognized a company logo that easily i wonder how much more advertising he is being exposed to without even realizing it he is being exposed to okay there should not be any advertising on this internet advertising product within television show should be banned we need to find a way to reduce the amount of advertising in our lives so you have to read I think it is a C because uh, the first one says there should not be advertising. It is not saying about this. Advertising product within television show should be banned. No, it's also not the case. So invaded our lives, being exposed to. So such words they are using and we need to find a way to reduce the amount of advertising. Reduce the source. So you have to read the other paragraphs 2, 3 and and choose the best thesis statement which one is best matching to the introductory paragraph you have to solve it and show it to your teacher during the session thanks for this now we will move to grammar we are talking about compound sentences okay let's see we have uh, as everybody is familiar to simple sentences and most of you may be familiar with compound sentences what are the compound sentences for example we will look at simple sentence what is a sentence as you know a group of word which gives complete group of words. yeah a group of word not word uh, yeah which give complete sense a set of words that is a uh, complete in itself means that some uh, thing a group of word that gives complete meaning he is a good student he came late today Fatma works hard she got so these are simple sentences look yeah so these are the simple sentences but sometimes we have to write the compound sentences when we write these are simple sentences mean they are subject he is a good subject verb and object subject verb are complement so said so the second thing is compound sentence as you know from the mm, word compound mean mm, the combination of two yeah not mm, single or not mm, uh, something i uh, have considered as one uh, so compound sentences sentence that has at least two independent clauses two independent clauses joined by comma semicolon or conjunction okay for example let's see these are two independent clauses he is a good student it is a complete sentence give full meaning he came late today it is also a complete sentence this these are called independent clauses these are independent clauses independent clauses mean uh, which gives complete sense or which give complete meaning um, itself for example he is a good student let's uh, combine it two sentences together but he came late today but so good student always come earlier so it shows the contrast he came late today second fatima works hard she got a plus in mathematics fatima works hard so this is the result she got a plus in mathematics this is the result okay let's move to the book we use uh, and combine two sentences related ideas yes when we have and show the related ideas or additional ideas the ad was funny and it gives helpful information and it's a conjunction so now it's compound sentence use but to combine two sentences with contrasting ideas to opposite to different ideas we use so when we use the result of the first sentence use or when there is a choice or two possibilities yes or we have two possibilities or choice okay let's move to the activity 
and we should see which one we have to use i am a mother of young uh, completed sentence with and are but so which words we should use the following and are but so write the reason you choose that conjunction right you have to write the reason whether it is related ideas a choice contrasting ideas are the are a result for example you see and it shows related ideas or shows choices but it shows contrasting ideas and so it shows the result so you have to read the sentences these um, and fill in the blanks with the proper conjunction the TV uh, look here I am the mother of young children and I feel that all advertising during children programming should be banned and she and and the reason is related ideas the TV advertisement was about a very serious social topic there were some funny moment funny serious so it means it is contrasting so we have to use but so you have to read these sentences according to uh, your schedule and uh, fill in the blanks and also write so here when you use but you use contrasting idea you have to uh, solve this exercise and show it to your teacher during the class or during the online session now let's move to activity B combine the sentences with and now we have to combine combine yeah with and or but so same word same conjunction joining word add a commas don't forget to add comma before the conjunction I like to stay healthy I exercise every day so is it I like to stay healthy so I exercise every day this result so are uh, okay you have to read these sentences if it is contrast write but if it is a choice write or if it is result write so so you have to complete this sentence Sara Perkona is a very creative writer she has written five novels the, lec uh, the lecture was interesting it was a bit too long you have to use the following conjunction to uh, combine the word make one sentence compound sentence means you have to write one sentence not two uh, separate sentences now here uh, move to activity C write five compound sentences compound sentences use each conjunction and or but so at least once okay you have to write for example you have two dependent clauses yes and or but so look uh, for example if you say I I like tea and coffee so here and if you use this and here this is not the compound sentence this is not the compound sentence so this one is the simple sentence this is not compound sentence so be careful compound sentences uh, sentence mean when you have two dependent clauses he's a good student yes he came late today yeah two dependent uh, two independent clauses two free clauses yeah, mean they don't need another clause to show the full meaning so this is called the compound so you have to make comp compound sentences mean two independent clauses so uh, next from find five compound sentences in reading two on page 84 and 85 underline the sentences and circle the coordinating conjunction yeah underline the sentence and circle the coordinating conjunction like and but or so where is the page page 80 okay let's move to page 84 you have to yes do this activity here yes so you have to read and underline the compound sentences circle the coordinating conjunction that is all for this unit today thank you very much